Welcome to this demo of the Dynaway add-on functionality, Checklist Actions, that is a part of Advanced Asset Management for D365, Finance and Operation in Asset Management. So Checklist Action is functionality that automatically can create a related work order based on the feedback or input from a checklist. And you can link the checklist action to both a variable like a pass or fail, but also a measurement line like above or below a certain value. So if we go into the system, we need to go to our setup and our maintenance checklist. And here we have our maintenance checklist actions. So here you can define the different actions uh, that you want the system to create as a related work order. So we have defined different actions here, like an electric repair and a mechanic repair with different traits that will appear on the related work order. We've also created a checklist action for above uh, maximum temperature, below minimum temperature, and this is the information that will appear on the related work order. And you can uh, create all the maintenance checklist actions as you want. And when we have created our actions, we can go to our checklist variables. You find them here. And here you can define the variables that you want to use on your checklist. So we have created a variable for our light switch, as you see here. So we could have a scenario where a worker uh, should go into a building and check all the light switches. So then the worker could choose from these drop downs. And if the worker checks that the light is not working, well, then I want the system to create uh, the electric repair as a related work order so we can fix the issue. So this is something we can set up here, but we can actually also set it up in our job type default. So let me show you that. If we go to our jobs, we find the maintenance job type default here. So this is here where I can also define my checklist. And on this line, I have created a maintenance checklist of the type measurement where I want um, someone to check the boiler temperature. And if we go down here, we can see I want the system to react and create a related work order if the uh, temperature goes below 40 degrees or above 100 degrees. So here you can see that I have uh, linked my checklist action below minimum temperature and above maximum temperature. So this is something you set up here in your job type default if uh, the line type is of measurement. So beforehand, I just created a work order with the same information um, as I set up here in my job type default on my boiler. So let's go and find the work order. I find it here. And then I want to see my maintenance checklist. And we can see here, I need to check the boiler temperature. And down here, I can put in a value. We can also see the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature. So let's say I measured it to 35 degrees. And I will click save. You can see here the list is checked. And now I'll just go ahead and complete the work order. Okay, it just needed to be released first. And now I can complete it. Yes. So now the system should have created a related work order since I put in the value of 35 and the minimum that we set up was 40. So let's go to our active work orders. Yes, and down here you can see that here was the first um, work order and here's the related work order. So it actually just had the same description like check boiler and then it added the temperature is 35, so below the minimum. So yes, this is what I wanted to show you um, about the maintenance checklist action functionality. And if you want to know more, please feel free to contact us on info at dynaway.com.